No! <laughs> Come on, yo. Hello, Anna. <laughs> Everyone's saying it's delicious. Oh, this guy's got a puppy. The magic moment. Honey, Katom. Katom. Ah, Katom. Morning, guys, from Songkla. Right now, we are at the abandoned Songkla railway station. As you can see here, we just got some vans on it. Yeah, it's not been used for a while. Now we've come here because there is a little market here at the railway station, literally next to the railway lines. So we're just going to check it out, see what's going on. Here we've got the old railway station. Let's just see what's going on. See if we can get a bit of food, a few snacks, meet some nice people, the usual stuff. So here we go. I think it runs down this street. Sorry, cab. And down this street. Now it's like 9 a.m. and it's already absolutely roasting. It's so hot. I mean, I'm just glad we're in the south though because I think in central Thailand and east Thailand and stuff, I think it's ridiculously hot. So here, you know, we have got a bit of a breeze, luckily. So let's just have a look and see what's going on. Sorry, cab. Cafe Boran. Oh yeah. Maybe we'll get one of these to start the day off. A good old ancient coffee, Thai ancient coffee. So what do you have? People seem really smiley so far. Oh, durian, durian. Okay, we'll have a coffee first. Cafe and then. We've got fresh durian. Well, this place is selling Cafe Boran, so. Any Cafe Boran? Cafe Boran. My me. She's got it, yeah. Let's see what's going on. Ah, uh, our cafe boran, my one. I don't know how much they are, but it shouldn't be too expensive. Cotter? So this is the ancient Thai coffee made in the sock on this like steaming basket. <laughs> Everyone's having a giggle here, aren't they? <laughs> Not exactly a tourist market, is it? Just a local market by the railway. What's she putting in now? Condensed milk. So not sweet. Still, we've got the full shot of condensed milk. Popcorn cap? 25 baht. Not bad at all. There we go. Popcorn cap? The Cafe Boran. Let's just give that a try right now. It's actually really good. Actually, not that sweet. Hello, Mag. Popcorn cap? Super, super, super. Super, okay, yeah. Really good. It's very sweet. It is sweet, it's not like as sweet as some we've had before, so. Yeah, 25 baht though, it's a good price. It's like, it's not just instant coffee, like a lot of tea and coffee stands in Thailand will just make you like powdered drinks and they're not very good. So when you see someone doing it like this, in the actual tins with the, the socks, like the tea, I need to check out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so like green tea. I need, this is the red, the red tea. Yeah, yeah, this is like the Thai tea, the classic. And then this is the, Coffee, I think. Okay. Hello, my cup and cup. Okay, super, super. Muyang. Mu, mu ping. Ah, okay, maybe we come back. Okay. Okay. Mu ping. Mu ping. Let's see. Cup and cup. Let's have a walk around. Yeah, everyone seems super friendly so far. This lady's got papayas. Sorry, cup. How much are they? Dorian. 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 Loi si sip. Loi si sip. For a kilogram. For a kilogram? Yeah. Ah. And how much is in one though? We've never bought durian like this. We've only ever seen it when they, they scoop it out into the trays. Probably like one is probably like one kilogram. So, so, any nung durian like that? Nung kilo. One kilo. One kilo. Loi si sip. How much? How much? Any, any nung kilo? Let's see how much that is. We can't spend all of them. We don't have enough money, do we? 
Like Nick Noy, Nick Noy, little. Hundred and forty. So she'll cut it up for us as well. Yeah. Alright, so we're getting a durian. This is first time buying it like this, so we'll see. She's cutting it open for us to eat. And this is a hundred baht. Durian is an expensive fruit. Yeah, I've no idea. I've never, we've never bought it before. Like it's not that £2 now. Where are they from? Any Bratia Thai? Thai durian. Durian Tinai Cap. You Tinai. Chantaburi. Chantaburi. Ah, from Chantaburi. Been to Chantaburi. But it wasn't durian season. Everyone's well intrigued here. Oh, hello, Anna. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, we got like the full thing. Got one card. We got our first durian. We can't tell that to the hotel. So no, <laughs> first durian. We'll have to eat all this now. <laughs> Let's find somewhere to eat it. Got one card. Yeah. There they go, the mother love. Okay, Chuck Dean. Now then, we've got our durian and We've never bought one like this before. We've never bought like a full on durian that they cut open for you and it's extremely spiky. I didn't realize like how sharp it was. It like, it hurts, doesn't it? Yeah, it like, you've got to be very careful with this thing. So she's cut it open for us. We just got a little one for, uh, we paid like 98 baht. baht. So it was 140 kilogram. They're all similar prices around here. And this durian is from Chantaburi in like Eastern Thailand near Gokkul where we've been before we have some videos on the channel so check those out but it wasn't durian season so we're really happy to be trying this now let's just get this show on the road eh? so in here we have got let's crack it open i need to be careful i don't want to drop it all right so there we go there's your durian reveal look at that Ooh. Looks good, doesn't it? Oh, it smells. Smells like a durian. Yeah, so it smells, but I, I, I've grown to love the smell. Like, I don't think it's it is pungent. It's not stinky though. But I think it's different. Like this one's probably not. I think the more ripe the fruit is, like the stinkier it is. But yeah, there we go. Look at, oh wow, it's so sharp. There we go. Look at that bad boy. This is good thumbnail. Camera angle. There she is, look at that. We get quite a decent bit in there, I'd say. Like a decent chunk of meat. Look at that. It's fantastic, isn't it? So, do you mind? Just like. Should be right. So what do we do? Get up to this. Oh, pick it up. The Get the big one. That's pathetic. <laughs> I can't believe how sharp it is. Well, you should have seen you could use it as a weapon. You could put it on the end of a stick and hit people with it. It'd I'm gonna lethal. keep it. When you're pissing me off, I can just go. Ow! That fucking hurts. My hands are gonna stink all day now. But yeah, let's just get that big chunk of meat. And let's just go for it. Eh? It's so good. How does anyone not like durian? It's incredible, and I'm not just saying that. It's amazing. Such a good fruit. There's no taste on the planet like it. I think that's why it's so good. Oh. Mm. Honestly, it's really, it's really creamy. I can't explain. The first time we had it, obviously, it was such a foreign taste. It did taste a bit funny, but grown to love it so good, honestly. How do you describe it, though? It's just really creamy and fibrous, can you see? You don't get that much meat on there because there's a massive stone in the middle, obviously. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going for the durian hands. There's like a big stone in the middle, but the meat you do get is so good. I'm gonna get leashed on it now. I'm going for it. 
Oh, this is like a cute little pot. Look at that. It's like mushy. It's like cr custard almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like really creamy. Like you can't really compare it to anything, you're right. You can't. No, it's got it's, it's, it's taste it's, of durian, and that is it. But it's almost like custardy. That's the closest thing that I can compare it to, like a really thick, creamy custard. How good is it though? Really good. I've had it before, but I've had durian flavored things before. It tastes like onions to me. That doesn't taste like onions. It's sweet. It's delicious. Yeah. There's a reason. Durian is the king of fruits. I'll okay. tell you that. There's a reason. Mm. It's good, isn't it? That's actually really nice, yeah. <laughs> wish, genuinely nice. I just wish it wasn't as expensive and I'd eat it every day. That's not, it's not got that oniony taste whatsoever. That's really good. Mm. Oh, we've just actually <laughs> discovered there's another pod in here. Oh. It's like the holy grail. Wait, wait, wait. This is so good. Wait, so it, wait. Go no! <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> well, I take everything back. I said 100 baht. Four pieces. For four big pieces. There's two more hidden in there. It's such a good job we checked. Oh. Wait, this is like the you greatest. Put bloody... that in the bin <laughs> if it wasn't for me. It's like the greatest bloody present ever. So we've got two more big pieces for 100 baht. Four big pieces. It's such a nice looking fruit. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. Oh, let's see. Spin it around a bit. Oh wow, maybe you should create them. There we go. Cheers. Cheers. I can't believe it. Absolute treat of the century that. Happiness. 100 baht, that is a cracking price. It's a really good value. So much durian. I have no idea what people are on about. I don't know. To me, it's not sick. It, it's delicious. I think people... I don't know why people say it tastes disgusting. People say it tastes disgusting before they've tried it. Try it and then say it tastes disgusting at least. Or go in with an open mind. Don't go in saying it's going to be disgusting, the world's smelliest fruit or whatever. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people who don't like it, but... Maybe it's delicious. Of... Maybe, I don't know. It's kind of slimy. Hmm. It is slimy. That bird again, can you hear that bird? This type of bird, any time I turn the camera on, it appears. It's behind us. I think it's the same one following us around the country. Very beautiful call though, isn't it? Oh, I don't think <laughs> well good that. Really happy. Two pounds. Is two pounds, yeah. two pounds. It's not expensive. Two pounds for a full durian. Yeah. Right, so what we'll do is we'll just go for a bit of a wander around and see what's going on. So what do you have? See what people are selling. It seems to be like a fresh market, you know, like a typical, super typical market. Selling fruit and veg. So far anyway, we'll see if we can find some food as well though, but yeah. Everyone's on the fruit and veg. We've got some big um, pumpkins there. So what do you have? Let's just check it out. Chilies. Nice under these umbrellas though, I'll tell you that. Ah, more chilies. Right, let's see what's going on. Hello, somebody cab. <laughs> Some people are lovely, aren't they? As soon as you're past, you can just hear them shouting in the background. Is this like like candy jackfruit? I've forgotten. Can Canon Tiam, so it's, it's jackfruit. What have they done to it? They've like caramelised it, haven't they? I need one mag. One yeah. mag, mate. No, no. Okay. How like that? Hasip. Me, Yisip. Like, a little bit. Yisip. I just want, I just want to try a little bit. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. 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 Oh, my.
Okay. Is it dried or is it a sweet? I have no idea. Hello, hello, now. It's all like a. Bubble cap. So I don't know what this is. Ah. Oh. Right, so here we've got that super sweet looking jackfruit that a fly has just landed on, so it must be good, eh? But they won't leave us alone, that fly. Let's just try it. Oh my. That's really interesting. It's got like a strange texture. Flies don't leave it alone. It's almost like a potato. Mm. Not as sweet as the, the fresh jackfruit, though. Seriously, that fly. That is really interesting. I've never had anything like it, but the fly won't stop landing on it. Mm. What do you think? It's very, very strange, to be honest. It's not like a sweet potato texture. Yeah, and it's kind of chewy. A little bit chewy. It's like funny, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never had anything like it. Yeah. Hmm. 30 baht for a few big pieces. Really interesting. I probably always get the fresh jackfruit though, but. Mm. Quite a busy little market, I've got to say. It is quite a busy one. In the morning, anyway. Yeah, proper little hive of activity. So I think we'll head inside, into like the indoor bit of the market. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm going to explore, see what, see what everyone's selling. What the hell? Who's that? Let's have a look. Ready, Cab? I can smell shrimp. Is it here? It's got like a, the strongest whiff of shrimp paste I've ever had. So what do you have? Is it? Oh, it's here, the shrimp paste. Yeah, there's a Okay. You can smell this. So do you have? Here's the shrimp paste. I've forgotten the name of it in time. But yeah. What is it in time? I've forgotten the name, it's just gone straight over my head. But yeah, seriously pungent stuff. I'll tell you what, it's like a proper. Oh, this guy's got a puppy! In his arms! He just missed it! What I was saying was, it's like a proper old school, like classic market, like not a clean market, not, not a clean boring market, who wants one of them, it's like a proper, proper market, old school, these are the best type of markets, like a proper fresh market, it's got the gritty market feel, I can't explain it, if you're a market lover you'll know, what do you have? So what do you have? Oh, what do you have? Uh, Patadio. Pati. Patadio. Patadio. Ah. Wow, yai ma kap. Soi na. Alo, alo na. Alo na. Alo na. Alo na. Everyone's saying it's delicious. Pinpin mai ha kok kin yu leo ni meung nok a pa di u meung nok wang. Ani ani thau lai kap. Lo 80 baht. Lo 80 baht for that. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Kop kom kap, kop kom kap. Hey, 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 super. <laughs> Look at this, you've got some cats just sat on the counter. So what do you have? Look at these guys. So what do you have? <laughs> just sat there next to the eggs. This is what I mean, absolute, just classic market vibe. Where, where else do you see someone out? The cat sat on the counter with the eggs. So it looks like we've got like... I'll be sitting in SongCloud, there's Muslims, there's Buddhists, there's a bit of everyone, so we've got like Muslim sellers. We've got more sweaty cab. What is that? Little fish. Gai Bua. It's like a roof, Asian roof or? Ah. Okay. Pop on cab. Yeah, so we just got all like the prawns and stuff, and now we're in the fish bit, I think. Fish and meat. Well, cool markets, it's massive. We've got coconut, sorry, cab. My pal, my pal. My pal, okay, coconut, coconut. Coconut, coconut. Delicious, delicious. 
then yeah, there's like the chicken and meat and stuff. <laughs> Which we'll just take a quick walk through, just to just have a look, because it's always cool, isn't it? To see the the fresh meat sections in different countries and different towns. Quite big. What are these? Massive chickens in bags. What the hell? Not very pretty in the bags, are they? What do you have? Wow. Super, super massive fish. I wonder how much these are. I need tau lai cap, nung cap. Or is it by weight? Gao sip. For, for one? Or oh, maybe for a kilogram. But nung, nung kilo, okay, okay. So kilos 80 baht for these big boys. Couple and cap. <laughs> it's just well good. I love the seafood sections because obviously. We don't see seafood that much, especially like from where we're from in England. You know, the little crabs. What are these? What are these? Uh, I need yeah. for sometime. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah, that's what they're for. For like the sometime. It's like the blue crabs they throw in for the sometime. And then we got a little dog over here. Sorry, cat. Scared. <laughs> He's scared of us. It's cute, though, isn't it? It's like a little puppy. All right, chop D, chop D. Really cool place this. Oh, they've got like fish that they've like cut open. What do you have? That's a bit graphic, isn't it? It's more fish, it's just fish everywhere. These are catfish. So these down here, these little guys squirming around in the bucket, are the catfish. We'll stay away from them so they don't squirt juice in our eyes. It's got loads of them, look. And he's like, he's actually chopped some up there. That'll be to throw in like curry dishes, you know, like in your Korean rice places and whatnot. Oh, he's got little squids. So what do you have? What's the, what's the name of the squid? I forgot. Pamuk. 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 Ah, catfish is paddock and squids pamuk. I forgot. Okay, wow. Well. So just got these little squids. Ah, what are you doing? You are. So he's, he's like shaving them. Wow. Ging my cap. <laughs> really cool. Okay, cop on cap. He's like, um, how would you say? Like peeling them, if you could say that. Peeling the outer skin off. Ready to cook. And then we've got the big squid here. The giant squids. Look at them. And some smaller ones. And then the goong, the prawns, goong, goong. Sorry, cap. It's really funny because this is just what it's like in the market, obviously. When you're walking around, there's a silly foreigner with a camera. Look at the grannies. The grannies are cute, aren't they? Half the people are lovely, but the half people just look at you like, what the hell are you doing? So, yeah, we've got like another hall here. Oh, so what do you have? Ah, she's selling brick chilies for. Sipha nung kilo. Okay, so a kilo for 15 baht. Oh, okay, okay. Kopong kap, my ao kopong kap. We don't need a kilogram of chilies as much as I um, wish I did. Proper cool in here, honestly. It's got so many legendary grannies, legendary aunties like selling the vegetables. They're just proper characters. Really cool. It's like the biggest smiles ever, some of them. What do you have? Oh, you can sit in as well. So what do you have? Chai. 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 So we've had the Café Boran, we're now going to get like the ancient Thai tea, the classic Thai sock tea. The very best. The best tea. Oh, we're waiting, we're waiting. This guy's eating his food, this grab driver, he's got like two dogs under him, he's got a cat on the table. Hang it. What's this? I need a light hat. It's red. Cafe. Oh. Cafe. Oh wow, look at the colour of the sock. Cafe Boran. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We've had one of those already, so we will get the tea. 
มาก็ปูไก่ได้ปูตาดานิดหน่อยครับ so she makes it in the car yeah wow super interesting oh so there we go but this is epic this is property if you see a lady doing something like this one 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 ไม่ใช่น้ำตาลไม่ต้องใส่น้ำตาลวานน้อยวานน้อยโนชูการ์โนชูการ์โนชูการ์โนชูการ์จะสูตรสปูนส์และคอนเดนซ์มิลค์ฉันรู้สึกว่าพอใส่นมไม่ได้ใส่น้ำตาลนี่น้องพ่อเนื้ออิดเดียวมันจืดเลยเดี๋ยวพอใส่น้ำแกงเดี๋ยวมันจืดใส่สักหน่อยหนึ่งนะไม่ไม่ใส่ไม่ใส่น้ำตาล Ah, it's not a drink. It's 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 a magic moment. It's a drink. It's a drink. Here we go. An absolute timeless classic. Oh, couple mark up. There we go. I'm gonna try it before leash. Fantastic. You can't actually tell the difference though be between when she puts in just condensed milk and like an extra five tablespoons of sugar with just the condensed milk. It's still really sweet. No, but it is nice. Like, because if you don't ask for that, you also you'll get the five tablespoons of condensed milk and you'll get five tablespoons of brown sugar. And then your teeth fall out, but it will still be delicious. Your teeth will just fall out. Yeah, it's really good. It's probably like what? 30 baht maybe. And what's going on here? We've got all these dogs. Shh. Don't be scared. Nope. My, my child Palang. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Yindi Tira Ruta. How are you? 20 baht. 20 baht. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Durian, Durian. Thank you. 20 baht, that's incredible. So, I just, I've said it again. I've said it a lot, but I just really need to stress this point because when you see a lady selling teas and coffees like this, proper Boran. Like the proper way. I mean, you need to support them. Like, no powder. It's all like proper tea. <laughs> Just the best, the best. <laughs> Boran. <laughs> She's ancient. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. It's the best, it's the best. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Okay. Yeah. Chuck me. Look at the doggos. No, you really can't miss a spot like that, honestly. You can't miss a spot. That is the proper way, the ancient way, the best way. And less and less people are making it like that, so when you see it, I just appreciate stuff like that. Because it's not lazy. It's not, that's it, it's not lazy. It's it takes work more to work. Do that, yeah. yeah. What's the best way, innit? And she's really cute, yeah. She said, she said I'm ancient. <laughs> proper cute grannies. What is this? Any katom? Katom. Katom. Oh. Ah, katom. Okay, what you do? You chew? Yes, yes. All, all? Tuk, tuk, yan? This is the katom leaf. Katom, katom. Ah, so what do you do? You just take the side bits off. Oh, so you don't chew the stem. I need my gin, my gin. Oh, okay. And then you chew and then you spit out. Ah, okay, okay. Cup and cup. Water, water. Ah, okay. We got some katom. Okay, cup and cup, cup and cup. Super. Beautiful. You can speak Thai. Go Thai, 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 Thai. You see it here. Oh, very beautiful Buddhist amulets. Wow. He makes them kung geng mark up. Uh-huh. You can speak Thai? Little bit. 
Okay. Okay. Nice, nice to meet you. You need to attack. Goodbye. Goodbye. Lag on. Okay. Chuck D. Everyone just gives you cuts on leaves. It tastes horrible though. Yeah, just the thing of the south, I think. It just go everywhere. What a little morning we had. Really good little mission that. That mouth though tastes ridiculous. I've got durian in my mouth. I've got kratom leaf taste in my mouth. It's a funny combo. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching. Songkla just never disappoints, does it? Well nice place. Full of like some of the best people. Everywhere is. The lady's watching it. Busted. <laughs>